got that one with the Lord when he sent that lion angel and the deceit fits the seat. What is it? First Kings 22. Uh, what you got for me, bro? Oh, um, this is First Kings 22 and 19. And he said, Hear yeah, thou therefore the word of the Lord. Behold, I saw the Lord sitting on his throne, and all the host of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. Righteous angels in yeah. And the Lord said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramatha Gilead? And one said on this manner, and another said on that manner. And there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. And the Lord said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. That's a bad thing. Go forth and do so. <laughs> Where's that at? First, this is First Kings 22. Yeah, man. First Kings 22. So I mean, you know, these motherfuckers, they got, they got the, they got this Bible all fucked up. These churches, man. They sure do. You know what I'm saying? Well, it tells you. They got the, it all fucked it up. It tells you in the Gospels that that the uh, when the Lord cursed out, cast the demons out of people, that the demons uh, obeyed the Lord and knew His name and called Him by His name. That's right. That's right. It said that they called Him the Son of God. So the Most High, He's the one that's in control of them demons. You can read in the book of Job, because the scriptures say, well, Isaiah 45 and 7, I am the Lord, I create the darkness and the light, I create peace and evil. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord created peace and evil. He created Satan to do his bidding. I hate that shit. They talking about Satan rebel him and his evil angels. And Satan ain't never rebel. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, hold up though. If, yeah, if they say in the book of Genesis, Satan rebelled. In what, Genesis 6? If Satan rebelled in the book of Genesis before the flood, explain to me why in the book of Job, which came after the flood. Job 1. Job came after the flood and after all the so-called Nephilim and way after that, all right? So if Job comes after the flood, then why? And, and, and if Job was written after Satan supposedly got kicked out of heaven too, right? Right? That's right. If, it, if Job was written after Satan got kicked out of heaven and after he rebelled, how come how come in the book of Job Satan is obeying orders? Obeying? Yeah, everything the most the most I said, go tempt my servant Job, but do not kill him. Direct order. Yeah, direct order. Now did Satan defy his order? Did he kill Job? No, he did not. He did exactly as he was commanded. I'll oh, go ahead. This is Job too. In, and, in two and one. And you can read all through the book of Job, Satan never speaks until he is spoken to. Again, there was a day when the sons of the Most High Yahweh came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. And Satan came. Oh, yeah, if Satan's a fallen angel, why is he presenting himself before the Lord? That's right. Present, that means. It's like in the military, you do present arms. Yes, you know what I'm saying? You come in front of your superiors, you show respect, okay? That's what Satan did. He presented himself before the Most Read that again. He presented hey. himself before the Most High. Again, there was a day when the sons of the Most High came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. To present himself. And the Lord said unto Satan, from whence comest thou? Question. He, he's, uh, questioning. he's questioning. He's questioning. He's like, he's interrogating. He's like, <laughs> he's at, tell me. I command you to tell me. Keep going. And Satan answered the Lord. And Satan answered. First, who spoke first? The Lord. And what? Satan, Satan ain't come over. Hey, like, like, hey, God, what you right. doing, motherfucker? No. Uh, he didn't, that is not how it went down. Right. And Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. Yeah, because Satan, he walking on, he all over the place. Yeah. We talked to Satan before. We were in that yeah, time yeah. we talked to Satan. Yeah, I mean, we was, uh, we was leaving camp one day, and this Arab motherfucker came out of there drunk as a motherfucker, talking shit, 
and, and I mean, he the motherfucker was on fire because he was drooling and shit. Yeah, he was. A, he, he was literally drooling and spirit. shit in the spirit. And Aaron asked him, you, I, I think you asked him like, yeah, I was um, like, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? And dude was like Satan. Satan. Why? Oh, oh yeah. That's yeah, that's that old thing. That's yeah. the old thing. He never mentioned nothing about Satan before then. He never gave the dude a reference to Satan to say it. Because usually when you ask a demon's his name, he'll tell you. He'll tell you. He'll, he'll tell, tell you. you. That's how you And he do. You ask hey, a demon what's your old, name. Oh, I, before he even asked How him, many was generations? Oh, yeah. How many <laughs> generations? You know, dude yeah. was like drooling. Uh, he was yeah. literally drooling, man. Yeah. You know, he was in the spirit. Oh, man. He was in the spirit of Satan. He said, yeah, yeah. Satan. It was bad when he asked. He's like, what's your name? He's like, Satan. Motherfucker. I keep putting y'all. Yeah. Crazy man. I really felt like I was talking to Satan too. You were talking to Satan. Yeah. That was definitely Satan. If that wasn't that was Satan, Satan, I don't know who Satan is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Because he, he, then again, he couldn't do shit to us though, could he? That's right. Because the most high said, no more will they back us in the corner. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing happen to us, man. That demon, you know? that demon had to go back and make a report. That's right. There was a time when Satan could have put a slaughter on us. Not now. <laughs> Not now, man. It was that time before. We were slaughtered back in the day. Some of us had our head killed. Some of us was hung. Some of us was burnt. You want to play poker? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. A lot of bad fucked up shit happened to us in the past, man. And the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth the Most High, and showeth evil, and still he holdeth fast his integrity, although thou movest me against him to destroy him without cause. And Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin, yea, all that a man hath will he give for his life. But pour forth thy hand now, and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse thee to thy face. Oh, yeah, hey, that's funny, yeah. Hey. Right. That, that, that really kind, of, kind of shows you, too, that the Lord knew he wasn't going to sell out what well, Satan right, didn't know. Right, right. He knew. And he told Satan. No, yeah, the Lord, yeah, the Lord, Lord knew he wasn't going to sell right, out. Right, right. And he right. told Satan, Satan, didn't, Satan didn't Satan, know. Satan didn't know that, right. Yeah. That's right. So that's that right. tag, that's right. it goes that's further proof. Satan don't got no fucking power. It, it showed you the most high, uh, he told Satan the whole deal. He's like, look, Satan. Bet with him. This is what you like go. Oh yeah, this is what yeah. you gonna do. Oh yeah. yeah, they're rangers, just like we, you know, that's the like Israelites. When we yeah. monster each other, we kicking it. We go, we, what you know, <laughs> wager on games or fights or whatever. Same thing, man. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he is in thine hands, but save his life. So when Satan forth, uh, so went Satan forth from the presence of the Lord. He smote Job with sour boils from the soles of his foot unto the crown. It just goes into a lot of Yeah, shit. I mean, that's a long story. Mm -hmm. But that's the point, though, is it tells you. That destroys all that church nonsense. Oh, Satan got kicked out of heaven. Where the, where's that in the Bible? Right, right. People are nuts, man. Satan is just up here waiting to do take orders. And, and nobody and that's it. Nobody even questions that story, that's man. They have people more than they have Yeah. Here you go. Let me get this for you. Oh, yeah, he created the wicked for the day. Yeah, for the, yeah. Is that yeah. Let me get this. this. Yeah, I know uh, that scripture. This scripture was pretty much going to where, like, angel means messenger. Oh, yeah. And how he sends, pretty much how he can send an angel to do evil. Right, because you got good angels, because you got actual spiritual beings as angels, which is celestial angels that actually live out, they can travel outer space, fly around in them chariots. But then you got us, we're angels, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's the same way with the demons. That's the same way on the left hand side. On the left hand side, you got demons, you know what I'm saying? You got devil worshippers who sacrifice to the demons. Yep. And then you got Esau, he's a faggot and a devil, and he, all of his minions are his angels, yep. you know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Proverbs 17 and 11. And actually the angels are our brothers. Actually, they're Israelites. Angels are Israelites. Yep. yep. Go ahead. Yep. Proverbs 17 and 11. An evil man seeketh only rebellion. Therefore, a cruel messenger shall be sent against him. Yeah, rebellion. Everybody want to rebel against the laws of the Most High. Right, right, right. Here you go. This is 2 Samuel 24 and 15. 
So the Lord sent a pestilence upon Israel from the morning even to the time appointed, and there died of the people from Dan even to Beersheba 70,000 men. And when the angel stretched out his hand upon Jerusalem to destroy it, the Lord repented him of the evil and said to the angel that destroyed the people, it is enough. Stay now thy hand. And the angel of the Lord was by the threshing place of Arunah and Jebusite. So it's the Lord that controls the people. He says it's enough or it can't keep it enough. Just like when the seven trumpets sound, when, them eight, when that seven angel come, when they, you know what I'm saying, that last trump, them angels are going to unleash it and they are not going to stop. They're not going to, they're right, the Most High is going to release them, but he's going to release that full force. Yep. And them angels are going to be a terrifying sight. That's right. They'll be scary, man. They'll be scary. Just like Ooh, every time you've seen a Bible, like even when Daniel seen an angel, he got, every time you hear about someone encountering an angel, they drop down it's to their knees. Right. He's like, oh shit. Yeah. Just like Joe, just like you Samson's. Almost, they uh, almost want to worship him. Yep, Samson's parent, uh, parents thought they was going to die from that angel, man. Yep. I got a script right here. I got an example of it right here. Uh, plus, this backs up what we was just saying about, we just said the angels are Israelites. And here's proof. Hell, this is a crazy video now. That's a good video talking about angels. We ain't talking about that in a minute. They're coming. Yeah. They're coming. They're coming. Yeah, we do believe in angels. Some people think that's some bizarre. But what do you think all them chariots are that you see flying around in the sky? You know Those are them angels. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that, that's what that song, uh, uh, she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Right, right. Uh, King Jesus, he'll be driving when she comes with the band of bright angels. How would that song go? Right, right. Well, you know, how, we should bring that out. We already made a video on it. I can get on my phone. Yeah, but that, that song talks about the angels coming with the Lord when he come back. Yeah. Just like the scriptures say, when the Lord come back, he's coming back with legions of angels. So the angels are very important. You know what I mean? Uh, Revelation 20, uh, excuse me, 22 and, I'm gonna start at seven. This is the Lord right here on verse seven. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book which is the prophecy's destruction, destruction of America. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. So that's the, the disciple, John. The angel looked so powerful that he, uh, he, 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 he almost started to worship the angel. You know what I mean? This is a terrifying sight. Yeah, because he actually encountered the angel. He didn't know what to do. And then he said unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book, worship God. So the angel told John, Don't worship him. And he said, I am of your, he said, I'm your fellow servant, and of your brethren the prophets. Let me read that again. Uh, this is what the angel said. Then he saith unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren, the prophets. <laughs> so their angels are brothers. Literally, they're, I mean, they're brothers. That's just like that scripture, and what's that? Uh, might as well get it. I think it's in Matthew 22, when he says, when the scribes and Pharisees tempted him and said, what happens if you have a brother who dies and doesn't leave a seed to his wife? What happens if nobody brings that seed up? And he tells them they become like an angel. We should get down. Brother, I need your brother. Take that wife. She got the seat. His brother, what? Take her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me get that real quick. I'm um, we're since we into evil, we still into evil angels. Uh, we in angels, so I was just bringing it all out. Right, I got that wisdom of Solomon in the Bible, the seventeenth chapter. That goes into all these nightmares and all these motherfucking apparitions. Which way? Let me let me read through this real quick. That's or? cool, bro. You I'll know. just go real quick. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm just going. I'm gonna read it quick. It's kind of long. Time for all these scriptures. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get them out quick, so y'all gotta pay attention. <laughs> we ain't gonna real. ain't gonna break it down word by word. Matthew 22 and uh, 23. The same day came him the Sadducees. 
that say that there is no resurrection, meaning reincarnation. And asked him, saying, Master, Moses said, if a man die having no children, his brother shall marry his wife and raise up seed unto his brother. Now there were with us seven brethren, and at first when he had married a wife deceased, and having no issue, left his wife unto his brother. Likewise, the second also, and the third, all the way into the seventh, which that, it says unto the seventh, but meaning that every last one of them, that none of them could get a seed. All right. Uh, all, all last of all the women died also. So he could, the man was now allowed, able to leave a seed on the earth. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be of the seven? For they all had her. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of the Most High. For in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. But as touching the resurrection of the dead, have ye not read which was spoken unto you by God, saying, I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. That's a bad scripture. That's bad. Oh, that, that that's bad. So who's the most high that opens your Oh, yeah, the book of the... It, like he said, that cuts the book of the dead. The Egyptologists, they got the book of the dead. Right, that's crazy. Well, the Lord said he's the God of the living, not the, the dead. Of the dead. That kills that Osiris, God of the dead, yes, underworld it does. shit. It does. That sure kills the, it does. Hades worship and all that. Okay, that that kills the uh, that kills hell. There's no such thing as hell. Yeah. If he's the God of the living, not the dead, how you gonna have the the underworld? <laughs> don't make no fucking sense. When the missiles drop, you're going to be in the underworld then. Then the Lord said, uh, even the, the Lord said, uh, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He just, like, yeah, like uh, Saul. Because I think, I think, I got to go back over that scripture. Because I think Samuel came to him in spirit. Cursed his ass out. And told him. You wake me up for a motherfucker. <laughs> they summoned when that, when that witch summoned him. Because he was asleep. He was in his rest. Yeah, he was resting. You know, he was in yeah. his rest. That beast was going from heaven and yeah, you can really communicate with spirit. Hey, church is above. They made them butcher the scriptures to the point now. We told Saul, like, you don't got to worry about it. Right. Because, uh, you say, like, the, like the next day or something about tomorrow, you'll be here with yeah. me. Yeah, because what you'll happened, be here yeah. With me. Well, because he, he was talking to, they uh, summoned up Samuel's spirit. Now, it was not even too long after Samuel had been, he ain't had any, even been dead that long. Mm -hmm. So he was still in the spirit world. You know what I mean? Right. Because pe people do communicate with spirits. And, 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 and that's the case. That's what I'm saying. If there was a hell, Saul would have been there if that's the case. Oh, exactly. Because he was doing some wicked well, ass no, shit. Well, no, Samuel wouldn't have been in hell. He was talking to Samuel. <laughs> Samuel was a prophet. But yeah, I know what you're saying. Saul would have been there. Yeah. Saul but Saul's back in the reincarnation right now. It's Saul. It's Saul's walking around. And that, 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 that's uh, uh, General Johanna. Not yet. Yeah, General Johanna. Saul. Well, they call him Johanna now. That's the house of Saul. Yeah, that's, the, the, house of Saul. that's the house of Saul. Yeah, he, he saw in the reincarnation. We are the house of David. Yeah. We literally are the house of David. Yeah. Being risen up again. Soon Davis 21, Night Owl, Clintonville, and so is you to Brewery District. You know what I'm saying? Um, where we at, bro? Oh, I'm done with that, Master. Okay. You can read your, you can say you're about Apple. Yeah. Come to his bus and fucking tow the bus. I pray the whole time. Blame. That was probably the boy. They ain't complaining that one bit. I can't wait to get bus and lose funding. They can't roll no money. Man, bus is expensive to ride anyway, ain't it? Oh, yeah, man. man, you can't get on a bus. How much it cost? Like two dollars now? Coming to South, right? That shit should be like a quarter or something. Yeah, man, what the fuck? For great are thy judgments. This is wisdom of Solomon 17 and 1. For great are thy judgments and cannot be expressed. Therefore, unnurtured souls have erred. Unnurtured. 
Yeah, and we ain't ain't been <laughs> rooted in the truth. That's right. You, you eating poison. Like a motherfucker just sitting watching movies all day, listening to this garbage rap music. Man, you been consuming poison all day, man. Oh, yeah. Fucking your mind up. Oh. For when unrighteous men thought to oppress the holy nation, they've been shut up in their houses, the prisoners of darkness, and fed up with the bonds of long night, lay there exiled from the eternal Father. For while they supposed to lie hid in their secret sins, they were scattered under a, dead, a dark veil of forgiveness, being horribly astonished and troubled with strange apparitions. Yeah, they go, like, that's all the elite. All these rich devils, they don't sleep good at night, man. Even the world times. Yeah, they ain't sleeping good. Sleeping that's why they moving so fast. Yeah, that's your right. You make the point. That's why they're moving so fast. Everything's picking up. You see what happened to Hillary Clinton? Oh yeah. She yeah. had a she had to resign as Secretary of uh, State because she couldn't handle the stress. The stress is killing her. Mind. It killed her. Yeah, yeah she got fucked up. She's still in bad. She's in bad health yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. She can't, she can't. That, yeah, she's a woman. But she cracked can't. her head. Cracked her big ass head. Yep, yep. And ain't no woman built for no war. I don't give a fuck how high up she is in, in power. Right. She proved it right there. Yep, she yep. proved it. Yep. Uh, Pandalisa. Pandalisa. Yeah. I don't know where I'm she I know her sister is in there though. She is, she, she living fat right now. She's doing. Yeah, living good. She, she, when she got paid when she was in there with Bush. Yeah, Bush the, well, Bush wasn't. Dick Cheney was the president. Hmm. Okay, it wasn't no goddamn Bush. Everybody knows Dick Dick Cheney was running that shit. Right. Him and Donald Rumsfeld was running that shit. Right. You know what I mean? Right. With, with the with the the bankers on the top of. Them. Just cast the Lord shit out your mind, man. You know, like it, like you never heard. <laughs> that's like so I just, in mind. Oh, that's like your boy Alex Jones. He hates he hates the Israelites. You know you know he's getting worse. He worse. What? Oh, he's getting Alex Jones. Yeah, he's getting he's worse like, and worse, That man. dude's about to get messed up. He don't even sound like interesting. Like we used to I actually used to. He's just like getting this. fat, well, fatter and like fatter. Yeah, he can't like listen to a cheap. I, I can't listen to him no more. Yeah, yeah, I, used to, I used to look forward to his show. Yeah, he's losing his zinc. He but, used to have a little zinc to his shit. But that's because a little zest. Because he couldn't keep a secret. He just had to say something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He said, "You damn royal Hebrew Israelite." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. And he said it with hatred, with yeah. anger, and jealousy. So, he, couldn't, he couldn't resist. He, cause he loves America too much. Yep. Yeah, was, and you know he was talking about GMS. He wasn't talking of course, about uh. Of course. There ain't no way of watching Je Johanna and what's that other Nathan. weird Nathan? I never watch. I don't never watch Nathan's videos. That dude's a faggot, man. Right. And my, I mean the way I see things, that dude's just a big no, no, fucking no. faggot, man. A clown. For neither might the corner that helped them. Or bubble eyed blackfish. Yep. You gotta be out your goddamn mind to listen to, uh, what's that, G-O-C-C? -C? Israel, what's that called? The Church of God and Christ. This motherfucker's bug out his goddamn mind. Woo! Uh, my, that, my fault, go ahead. It is amazing. He's a fucking, it is amazing. he's a lunatic. He, he, he actually had people, he actually had people leave the country, bro. He actually had people thinking that we all have to get out of America. And he took what? them all to Egypt. And they yeah. actually left, and he, and he took their passports, and they, and and they stuck the there. Ass. Left yep. the ass there. Sure did. Yep. They were actually out. They actually are stuck there. What's that? And so you got to warn people about that. Well, that's what they get, though. Well, a lot of people, you know, he got a, he's actually got a pretty big following. Because people are suckers for that type of shit, man. For that, for that smooth, because he's one of the smooth talkers don't never cuss. You can, if somebody never cusses, you can't trust them. I'm sorry. You can't trust somebody who never drinks and never cusses. Okay? Well, actually, John the Baptist never drunk. But hey, you know, the Nazareth, you know what I'm saying. And hey, that's why your boy Ace Fraley from Kiss, your boy Ace Fraley from Kiss, he said he never trusted uh, uh, Gene Simmons or Paul Stanley because they never did any drugs or never drank. He said, I can't trust nobody like that, man. <laughs> I'm just, that's kind of funny, you know what I mean? Because you know Gene Simmons, that, he's a big faggot. He thinks he's better than everybody. He thinks he's a 
crazy. It, it's, it's, it's good. It's the app that he's the devil. His character is the devil. Because he's the fucking devil. He's, he actually dresses up like a demon. Oh, and he spits blood out of his mouth. So neither like the corner that help them keep them from fear, but noises as of water falling down sounded about them and sad visions. Sad.